Hey guys, what's cracking? Godsman here, uh, coming at you with another fight night, uh, this time featuring the brand new Lukie deck that just got revealed, or rather the Lukie support. Yeah, this came out of set 8 literally earlier today, it was revealed, now the set itself isn't out, but with the reveals out, you can put them on untapped immediately, so we thought why not get right into the deck testing, and it is a pretty fun deck, but I thought I'm going to show you some neat tricks and tips today, and with me we've got my buddy Gear, how we doing Gear? Hello there. All right. Time to <laughs> yeah, it's it's been a while. As a matter of fact, I think the last time, uh, it's it's funny. I think uh, it was sort of uh, interesting fun fact. The last time we did a fight, I was like the the thing saver and bunny beast tamer thing. So it's kind of like on the opposite yeah. end of the spectrum. Yeah, that was the the last time we did something. And uh, well, well, when it was just you and me doing a fight night, and I think that the round two of that was my lowest performing video to date. So. Maybe we can, we can reverse fate with this one to make it a bit better, huh? All right, uh, let's do it. Stand up, Vanguard. You and Nella. Ooh, we got a monster okay. strike. Okay, I guess I should have known from how many stuff you've got going on there. Which one do we got today? I wonder. I'll show something. Must something that you'll probably never see in that day. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. The freaking we're not getting this in English. Much of the dismay of everyone who actually appreciates the artwork here. Uh, okay. Well, while you're setting that up, I'll just go ahead and get started here. Um, alright. We'll start with this. Pitch one, ride into arena, and pass over. Pass two. Right. Yes, sir! Draw. Okay. Yeah. Pitch. Ah! Okay, we're going for our personal favy. <laughs> yeah. Man. Oh. Well, we had two two monster strike decks in there now, and I just decided to keep the favorite and the obvious choice. <laughs> yeah, and I I think when you break it down, they're like the two best versions, right? I mean, the reverse mode may or may not be better than um, what's the one that gets the drive and the sentinel restrict? Uh, Tenka Goken. Tenka Goken, that's his name. Yeah, Tenka Goken and Neo Reverse Mode are, like, pretty similarly powered. I think there's, like, a matchup dependent thing with Tenka Goken, but Ebisu is obviously number one, even though I don't think she's number one aesthetically. Yeah. I mean, I agree, but... I just look at that card, and there's no way that card wasn't strong, just at first glance. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you just look at it, it's like, in inside the card itself, it's got a self-contained multi-attack and a really badass shield that can get around a lot of guard restricts and stuff and battle doors. It's crazy what that thing can do. I mean, it makes and the best- And a retire. And a retire, right, no guard. It, it, it literally makes the best use of the monster box. You, you say this a lot, I totally agree. It makes the best use of the monster box of them all. Uh, ah, PG, all right. The damage. I do not know why I played that face down. Uh, oh, well, okay, that's a waste. Oh. Draw. Uh, tch, 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 tch. Let's... Tough decision to pitch it. Yeah, it is very tough. To... I think I'm going to go for this. I'll pitch this. Uh, we'll ride into Lillian. A uh, skill of arena prox now. Cape top seven, and we'll throw something to the soul here. Oh. All right, uh, we're gonna throw in Breathing Dragon. Hmm, okay. Dude, all that tells me is you might not have that specific grade one set of two. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and swing for ten on man now. Ten? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go ahead, sir. Cool. Check. PG it is. Well, I guess we had the same frickin' drive check. Maybe you'll damn shake a crit, you know, twinsies, twinsies. Oh no. Oh, but that is an annoying ass card though. It may not proc so much against me since I'm putting a bunch of stuff back into soul, but like it might still proc. That That is like, <clears throat> as opposed to something like Holmes, this actually does feel like one of those more out there cards that, you know, pulls its weight. Yeah, you know, if you, if you, if you predict Holmes, it's very terrifying as a card. Oh, Holmes, man. Yeah, if you get it right, yeah. Uh, let's see. Oh, this one is actually an interesting decision, but I have to consider the fact of one second. Hmm. We'll pitch anarchy mode. Anarchy mode, okay. 
Oh yeah, I guess that makes sense. You've got Phantom Thief in there already, so all you need to do is just revive it with yield. Okay. Uh, let's see. Do you got a grade zero in there? No, I don't. Oh. I can technically put one in there. <laughs> you want the egg? egg. <laughs> I'd rather save that soul blast for a much more important. Fair. God. Um, man, I'm I uh, man, I, I swear, Monster Strike is just so dummy good when it comes to resources. I don't think I've seen a Monster Strike deck that doesn't have good resourcing. <laughs> well, you've technically seen some. I've shown you some that has bad resources. What what are you talking about the one that like multi attacks with the egg? Is that bad resourcing? Oh uh, well there's Uriel. Uriel? Oh well I mean I guess I should I should specify. I've never, I haven't seen a Monster Strike Volume 2 deck. <laughs> uh, you've seen Candela. Wait, does Candela have bad resourcing, though? I mean, you're milling a lot. And you have a, that's a lot of triggers you may not get that. Well, yeah, but I mean, when I say resourcing, I mean in terms of, like, your Soul Blast Counter Blast economy. Yeah, I, uh, I guess it also is. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, it's definitely not as great as some other stuff. Like, Ebisu and Neo Reverse just have dummy good counter charges. Yeah. I'll put an Anarchy mode in there. Anarchy mode! Then we'll call Soul Moon. Last one, we'll get added that Solomon, perhaps the most generic staple in this clan, quote unquote. Nation, I guess. Yeah, not clan. It's a, it's a nation. Uh, well, yeah, I guess you would call the most generic, even though there's some decks that simply just can't make use of the monster box. <laughs> Fair. I guess we'll, we'll do, yeah, we get just some thing. All right. This is painful, but I'm taking. No trigger. Okay, 10 on 10. I'm taking. Just don't crit me, man. Don't do it. Okay, cool. Heal oh, trigger. Oh. Okay, cool. Um, And there's actually a fairly valid target. I'm going to put that in there. Cool. All right, back to me. Cool. Uh, What do I want to pitch here? I am going to... Yeah, let's pitch this order. And I'll ride into Lukie. Now with skill of Lillian, we soul charge one, and then we'll add a card from the soul back to the hand. Um Peace or shield value, huh? <sighs> the eternal quest I I'm gonna go for the shield value in this case. I, I just love how Lillian is, like, in terms of a ride target, it's, like, better Gleipnir. <laughs> They're just like, let's let's give it better Gleipnir. It's like... Oh, yeah. Yeah, because yeah. it doesn't counterblast for it. Now, the only thing is that it doesn't do this as a rear, and Gleipnir can, and then Gleipnir has its own skills. So, I, I there's pretty comparable cards overall, which is kind of crazy, because Gleipnir is, like, kind of, sort of, a staple in, gen in Genesis. It's, it's back and forth. Genesis has so many, like generically good stuff but like kind of they there's only like certain factions of them and so he, like when he's applicable he's good um let's see what do i want to do now let's yeah let's do this okay i'm gonna counter blast one and i'm gonna place this order in here and we're going to Wait, do I want to do that you yet? You don't exactly have a rear guard to use that one. Let me think about this. I think I know what I want to do. I'll call Rising Dragon and activate skill. I'm placing this in there, and I'll draw a card. Now let's go ahead and use Lukie skill. Lukie is going to place the soul, and then we're going to call this, this, and this from the soul. Okay. Now with skill of breathing, we're going to Soul Blast 1 for that. Skill to the Vanguard, and then we're going to Soul Blast 1 for 
my grade three. I I don't know how to pronounce her name. It's like Urselke or Selche. I don't know. We'll just call her Acrobat. Uh, Soul Blast one and Counter Charge one. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna go ahead. Earl Sel or Seltan, depending on the Jake pronunciation. Okay. That's just a guess. Yeah, fair enough. Let's soul charge one off brainwash. Yep. Get 5k. Alright. Alright. I could have gone for a fourth attack this turn, but it didn't feel quite as necessary. Um, this gained 5k from its own skill. Now we're going to swap the positions here. This will gain 10k from its skill when it goes. And I think we are ready for combat. So, I'll swing with support from Lukie. This is going to be 4, 13, plus 13, plus 5, which is 31 on the van. 31. Go ahead. All right. First check is a rising dragon second check a heal trigger anyway all right let's go ahead and heal one and we're giving power to lillian all right one damage yeah they're oh okay Sexting. interesting that's good to know that's out although it's not too relevant against this particular day uh the yeah i could have gone for a fourth attack with this if i had held off on oh, oops if i had held off on calling the lillian but at the same time, I think it's better just to get more shields out there and um, kind of just go for a nice three attack. We don't need to go too fast right now since we're going first because um, you, can, you can burn resources really quickly in this deck if you so chose. Let's see here. I am going to swing for 30 on Van. 30, 25. Do I want to be an irresponsible man? Be irresponsible. Go to four. You know you want to. Yeah, I'm not going to like kind of that. If they had a heal, even better. I mean, hey. 33 on man. Yeah, take it. Draw, I'll though. Draw. I mean, it's some sort of reward. At least you need you got something for it. Uh, Let's see. At end of turn, we're going to suck up Acrobat and Breathing Dragon into the soul to draw one card. Back to you. Okay. Great. Yeah, it's time for Thor's will draw. Um, that's what that looks like. Well. We are trying to play into it. Do I need them? We'll just pitch an arc now. Trying to Neo reverse mode. And we're counter blasting to resting Gotcha Door. Ooh, so that's why you're going to get some potential good pluses here. Let's see what the gotcha gets you. All right, so you got a heal, a crit, a Solomon, a draw, a heal, a crit, a draw, a crit, a heal, yeah. and then an <laughs> You got like, what, seven triggers in that? Six, um, seven, two. something like that? Eight triggers. Oh. Oh. Yeah. You're, oh, that's painful. That 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 gotcha totally backfired. Oh god. I mean, on the if we're just talking about like solace, at least you didn't get rid of your over trigger on that. Yeah. Which uh, is the most ported trigger of them all. <laughs> see, yeah, we're calling the heal trigger. Oh, the heal trigger. See. Oh, well, I'll end up. Don't resources. know. Is that the OT's already in his hand? Oh, surprise <laughs> guest! Welcome aboard, David. How are we doing? I'm good, man. Ah, freaking good of you to be here. Uh, freaking, we're recording a fight night. Um, right now, let me reveal to the homies you know here. We'll do this. We're calling all the heels. 
Calling all the heels. We're making a statement. Okay. Oh wait, you're recording a fight night right now. Oops. Yeah, no, no. Don't like on mute. You're no, no need to turn on mute. This is uh, we're we're good, we'll man. More commentary is good commentary. And we'll call over Solman or hmm. Sarah. Ooh. And five. All your viewers are gonna be like, "What in the world is Luki playing again?" <laughs> well, nothing that the English player base needs to worry about. <laughs> but yeah, look, look at it's, uh pretty good so far. Uh, I mean, we're, we're doing this fight night to like just kind of show our office uh, the build we got going on right now. I'm, I'll uh, I'll have a uh, deck list in the description, by the way, to all of you who want to try this deck out. Is this deck is pretty twenty three on there? Twenty three. Um, try harder. Okay. Tire counterfeit. Cool. Cool. Swing for 20, young man. Sorry, it's not that harder. It's actually weaker. Ah, I told you to try harder. I'll guard with Lillian and skill gives her plus 5k. Yeah. Great. Right. And the battle counter blast for Anarchy mode. Comes Phantom mode. Can't wait to put the Pale Moon OST in this video. Uh, Swing for 18. 18. Um... Oh, and you do have that skill. No guard. You sure, man? I, I'm sure, even though it, it does hurt to see that crit, despite the fact you soul charge so many. Well, I get not even soul charge. You put him in monster box. It's not the same well, thing. Well, no, I didn't. It wasn't crits. That hit. There's a lot of draws and heals. So. Yeah. I did see, like, two or three crits from there, right? I think. I think it was, like, what, two, maybe? Two crits. Well, okay. three crits. First check. Second check. Ow! Oh, <laughs> and we'll gain all three soul. Sheesh! Um, okay. So it's this 10k. To an additional 40, so 50 on them. God damn! She's been eating her Wheaties, dude. Uh, I'm taking. It's just not worth. Ow. Ow! Alright. Yeah. <laughs> English dub voice dodge. You'd be like, ouchie! Mandatory counter charge. Because you did take it. Mandatory. Top deck. Yay! We top decked a Persona right. This deck loves me. Draw. Okay, that's pretty good too. Um, let's see. Think carefully. Yes, I have access to four attacks, but I want to optimize how we do this. So I should be going for. Do, do, do. Okay. Hmm. This should be a very, very big turn. I think. Yeah, I know what I. I know what I want to do. I'll use Lukey's skill. I'm going to counter blast one and place Rising Dragon to Soul. So we're going to call this, this, and this to the rear guard circle. All with 5k. And now, with skill of my Breathing Dragon, we're going to Soul Blast in order to grant another 5k to the front row via skill to the vanguard. Okay. I'll play the skill of the order. I counter blast one. I'll choose rearguard Lukie, and with her skill, when my vanguard attacks, I can exchange her with another Silverthorn from the soul, or rather a Pale Moon card that's great lesser equal to the vanguard. Uh, normally wouldn't explain it that hard, but I'm basically introducing something brand new, so we might as well. Okay. This is going to be for 33 on the vanguard. 33 asking 25. Yes, sir. See, 25. Then everything else is essentially going to be bigger soon. Ah. Okay. Honestly, playing this deck, Rising Dragon is the MVP. It's just insane. 
how uh, <laughs> how much power Rising Dragon gets just because you play the game. I'll give you 30. Oh, a bargain. All right. Now I'll swing with support of Vanguard, and we're going to proc. So we're going to exchange with Rising Dragon. So this is going to be for 28 plus 8, 36 on the Vanguard. PG. We do fear. Understood. The first check. Elementaria. The second check. Lillian. All right. Good defense. Defense. Okay. Let's go ahead and swing with support with Rising Dragon's skill. He's going to gain plus 20k power since I've called four or more cards from Soul this turn. This is going to be for 30, 45, 50, 55 on the Vanguard. Solomon, all right. Now I'll swing support from Breathing Dragon. Rising Dragon also gets 20k in this column, so this is going to be for 45, 58 on the van. Understood. Okay, solid defense. At the end of the turn, Lukie's skill is going to proc. I'm going to go ahead and place. Let's see. I'll place these two units back into the soul and draw Uno Cardo. Pass over. I got a quick question. What's up? About this turn. Okay, so you called out Lukier with Lukier's skill. Yes. Right? Why did we not call out the Grade 2 Dragon and then give the Grade 2 Dragon that skill? Because the grade two dragon could go into soul and then call itself back out, right? Uh, so you could have a twenty k swing and then it goes into soul, calls itself going? back out. Here's the reason, um, because it's five, it gets plus five k from Luke as well, so it'd be a twenty five, um, which is good. So I that that is true. The only uh, the only reason why I decided to do that is because I wasn't sure. <laughs> I wasn't sure if that was um, how it worked. If you could literally like put themselves back out to the field, I thought you had to exchange it for something different. Um, no, uh, if it had that restriction, I think on the order it would say that you have to choose a card with a pale moon with a different name than that card. But since it doesn't have that restriction, like if you go back and you read like Nightmare Doll Alice, it says like this goes into soul, and then you call a unit not named Nightmare Doll Alice out of the school out of the soul. I think it has that restriction so that you don't do that kind of thing. But this doesn't have that restriction, so I figure you could. Swing with the grade two it, for 20 plus the 5k from Luke here. So for 25 plus your persona, right? Of 35 plus, you know, yeah, it, it would be devastating. Like, I'll, I'll just put it to you. Like, I thought about that and I thought, okay, so if I can do that, that's what you should be doing. Um, and this is informative, but I just wanted to make sure because it does put it into soul as a cost. So I guess technically, because of the time, you could just bring it back out. So that's fair. Um, hmm. Yeah, okay, so, I mean, in that case, it would have been better than just calling the Lukier, uh, just by that, by virtue of that, because it would demand another, uh, demand another 5k shield. Yeah, this is, this is what playtesting is for. Yeah, um, th this is the playtesting, but I just wasn't sure if that was exactly how it works, so I just wanted to be safe and, you know, not do something that's potentially <laughs> illegal. Right, right. Yeah. But I think that's how it works, so... Uh, uh, one, do you think? Am I right there, or am I? Is my logic flawed? Uh, what are you, what are you thinking about? It's the order. Here. Talking about the the order. Can the order the order should allow the unit that it's giving the skill to to go into soul and then call itself back out, right? It doesn't have to call a unit with the a different name because it doesn't specify that, right? The when Vanguard costs plus soul, which is card it's only building this time, I mean, there's no name restriction. Yeah, there's, there's, 
Yeah, I There's just no restriction and it puts in the sulfur cost. I think. I just thought that, you know, it's putting itself into soul, so I didn't know if it could count itself. Um, like, it could, of course, call, like, another copy of itself from soul. I just didn't know if you could call its own copy, because I, I guess it would make sense, though, because you're putting into soul as the cost, so then when the effect checks, it is a part of the soul. Alright. Yeah. You're, you guys are probably right, actually. I didn't know, but I guess this is also important mm. for the viewers. I, I, but at the very Let least, like, see. that's why I, I didn't do it, though. Ask. I didn't know. Is that... When you call it again, would it would it remember that it has this ability, or would it forget? It would forget it because it's a new unit. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, the uh... under those stipulations, then yeah, that's fine. Interestingly, uh, interestingly enough, then you know, if, if it didn't work that way, then yeah, Lukie would have been the best call from the soul because she has the most relevant numbers. Yeah. But you know, if this is how it works, then yeah, Rising Dragon is just superior. <laughs> yeah, that's why uh, I think Nabs was talking about that earlier. How you can get three attacks with Rising Dragon. Oh, Kind blast. I really have one more unit than me retire. This is uh, tomfoolery one. <laughs> oh wow, our our fields kind of well, not really mirror each other. This looks kind of nice. This looks like a Tetris block, but like a really weird one. Tall, tall. Now we're playing Hangman. Uh, King five, King five. Check believe cannon keep one. We're letting that stay there. Unfortunate. For me, anyway. All right. All over. So last one, just to call it. This is a turn. Okay, this is uh, this is what Ebisu does, guys. <laughs> we mix Oracle Think Tank and Grand Blue together. Oh, you said the wrong name, sir. <laughs> Sorry, not Ebby Sue. Near reverse mode. God damn it. She plagues all of our existences. She's in everyone's mind. She needs to go. Well, for JP anyway. Uh, <laughs> over in English, we're good. We just have to be worried about, like, Youth Burke and, I don't know, Mahar and crap. Gravidia never dies as well. Alright. Swing. Currently, the 5, 10, 20, 33. I. 30. I intend to take this. Damage check. Okay, it is a defensive. Now, I don't know how helpful that's going to be, but we'll take it. Great. Right. Retire, counter charge. Retire, hold the five over here. Swing for 20. Actually, yeah. It's uh, 30 because of the uh, persona yeah. ride. Yeah. Actually, excuse me. So, yeah, I'd rather have the five over here. Honestly. Fair enough. Okay. So 25 then. Um, Alright, this is swing for fun then. Actually. <laughs> it's, uh, it's 25, so I can still hit over. Yeah. Let's see. Do I want to uh, garb with that or do I want to garb with this? Honestly, it's a little bit redundant that with these. So I'm going to go ahead and garb with Lily in here. Uh, 5k shield doesn't matter there. Alright. Kind of blast. And then time I do comes the phantom. Anarchy becomes a phantom. Swing. Would you like the Don Shield or are you just PGing here? Oh, I'm gonna use my Elementaria Sanctitude! <laughs> and we're yeah. going to pitch Favorona. I get my get out of jail free card. Especially against Flagbird. Right. Press check. Heal. Unfortunate. <laughs> hey, now you know I'm not a heal so. I mean, well, yeah, although you still have an over trigger looming, so that uh, that's the it's greatest shield of them all. I'm telling you, man, he's, he's, he's bluffing you. He's bluffing you in his hand the whole game. <laughs> it, 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 if he's holding on to it, uh, and he, I mean, hey, it'd be check. prime time to throw down on a rising check. dragon. You know how big those columns are. Rising dragon makes it impactful as a mother effort. All right, swing back into soul as card goes. Oh no, 40k? Yeah, 40. All I right. Have a PG. I, don't have, I know that much. I don't want to use that though. I'll just guard for 20. Thank you, defensive. Thank you, 20k frauds. 
Yeah, yeah, you know, honestly, I've transitioned less and less from, like, here's the thing. I used to run draws in almost all my, like, decks, but I'm moving more and more towards fronts where fronts are viable. Uh, just because the 20k shield is just hard to beat. It's more impactful than that 10k shield. Go figure. Stand and draw. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Hey, you, you drive a hard bargain, deck. Um, <laughs> let's see here. I think sounds like you just top deck as usual. Yeah, it's not a well. Yeah, I guess as usual. I'll, I'll tell you though, I'm not. I'm not nearly the top decker that Nabs is. That dude, and he'll let you know. He'll just audibly gasp every time. Uh, <laughs> and it irritates me to high heaven. Like, that is the one man on this planet who I can say without a doubt is luckier than me. And it's it, it pisses me off, man. But at the same time, good for him. But, uh, let's, what do we... Anyway, that, that's enough of him. He's not here. Let's see. What do we do in this situation? So, uh, we, we do have three grades in the soul. That's pretty easy. Uh, yes, but... one, two, three. However... Okay, I think I know what I want to do in that case. Let's go ahead and Power Blast 1. I'm gonna place Lillian in there. Call. Call. And I'll call over uh, here with Lukie. They'll all get 5k. But it doesn't matter because I'm just calling over Lukie with this. Just to be a beast about it. I see. Oh wait, is that why you called Luke here? Last uh last turn? It's because you needed to get three different grades. I didn't Oh you didn't know that? Maybe that's why you No. no, no. Oh, oh you didn't know that? that yeah. <laughs> it's an old monster roll skill. Sense. Yeah. Uh yeah. Okay. Everything makes sense now. Okay. And because I feel confident, we're gonna have Fall Kit here as well. Okay, because by doing this, we get better swingers, but then on top of that... Okay, I also need to Soul Blast one for that. Okay, so we don't have the Persona right anymore, but we still have the 5k from the Breathing Dragon. Okay, so the... This doesn't get 5k. Okay, so then, let's ponder everything that just happened. I'm out of soul now, but this is still not a bad situation to be in. Okay, let's go with this. Lukie is going to swing support. This is for 31 on the van, I think? No, this is 26 on the van. Mm, 26, eh? Well, uh, I I, uh, I go back and forth with this Fall K because Fall K is really good and obviously puts back cards in the soul, but the restriction where it has to not have a grade of that kind in the soul is a little bit annoying. So sometimes I think maybe Desire Devil Zito is better. It's the one where it's not when it boosts that you put a card from soul from drop into soul, but when it's put into the soul from rear by your Vanguard's ability, which you obviously can do with Lukie, you get to put one, but it doesn't have that grade restriction thing. You can literally put whatever you want. Uh, so sometimes I wonder if that's better. I've been doing some testing with that as well. You don't um, like uh, the uh, Songstress or whatever her name is? No, Songstress is in here at a couple copies. We just haven't seen her show up yet. Oh, okay. Yeah, I do like her when she shows up. I guess name, right? I'll ask for an over. 43 to uh, 26. Uh, well, it, that's a two to pass. Or, or a two. Or a two? Okay, fair enough. Yeah. Maybe I can get a front and then something else? No, okay. I guess it is an over then if we get it. Check. That is a heal though. Um, I will take heals. Let's see. Is there any good Falcate fodder here? That is a Falcate fodder. Okay, and then we'll give 10k over. Hmm. It's same difference. We'll just give it over here. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay. Okay, so then. We'll go ahead and swing with Rising Dragon. Uh, I have called Ready from Soul this turn. So this is going to be 4, 25, 30, 38 on the van. Take. Defensive, okay. And now. 
I'll swing support with Falcate skill. We're going to throw back in the order. And Rising Dragon gains 10k power from his own skill. 35, 40, 48 on the van. Because he has the PG. And the last card in your hand is the Abyss Supersona. Yikes. Uh, what? He, <laughs> Uh, sorry, Ebisu. Sorry, it's a uh, it's Neo Reverse. Damn it, the Neo Reverse. <laughs> it's Ebisu the Nation. Uh, yeah, at end of turn, time. let's go. Oh, sorry, I have a skill at end of yeah. turn. I want to activate. Soul, then take a draw. Yeah, we're gonna do these two. Cool, cool. Anyway, go ahead now. This is tough. Uh, this this is tough. I think one of the banes of Lukie is when the opponent heals, because man, I swear they take every opportunity they can to get their defensives and get all this situation. Oh boy! Do you know what the giant face behind Lukie is? It's a it's a big ass dragon that she has tamed. <laughs> I'm like that is so ugly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, hey, let me let me uh, conjure up original um, Lukie because it's there too. Is it really? I'll put it this there. Uh, let's see. Let us put in OG. Let's see, does that OG show it? Um. Okay, yeah. You can you can see it in the OG artwork here. Um, if you look at the top right. It's you can see like more its mouth than its face in that one. Ah, uh, and then uh, like it's 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 there like everywhere. Uh, like ch -ch 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 -ch. let's see. Oh, I think you get the best in this one, the V series one. You can see like him more completely in that one. Okay. Yeah, he's. Big as frick. I don't even know what that dragon is, dude. That might actually be a unit. And if so, uh, comments, let, let me know. Is this dragon in the background an actual unit in the game already? I guess we'll be trying here. Bro, I, <laughs> I guess I should just we'll put use on our ability for monster box. Alright. We'll Thank put you. cannon in. Call it from the monster box in the game's tent. Oof. Do you seriously have just enough counterblast? All I need is one. God. You see, this is what I'm talking about. Monster Strike just has infinite resources. <laughs> oh, mine. But look at your deck out. Oh, oh wow. I yeah. looked at your deck. Woo! Woo! He said final turn. Yeah, you're going for it this turn, huh? Well, I still have everything I need to... Uh, I still lose. haven't seen your over trigger. <laughs> I still haven't seen it. That is concerning to me. Why? Well, well, I still haven't seen it. No, he hasn't been holding it on to the whole game. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you know, David, why are you trying to try to gas me up with those so with those lies? You know, <laughs> we'll stick to what we've been doing. We'll, we'll call the heal. We'll <laughs> call the heal for good measure. Then this game's fine. And this crit, crit, crit. That's three, four, five. Uh, can I see well, your damage zone, sir? Uh, well, you got the six. And those. So I've seen six crits off of you. Uh, let's see that you got it. one. How do you know two. what my deck looks like? I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> He saw He's some... confident. Wait, actually... I know what it looks like, but I still shuffle. I just know what's in there. So you got over... Wait, actually, between the over trigger and... I think you have another draw trigger in there. You, you're a threat of deck out. Huh. You you could potentially deck yourself out. Maybe not, not, not this turn, necessarily, but, like... It would be to the point where this has to be your final turn. You just would not get another turn. Exactly. Uh, 2333... Uh, when you stack the deck, did you keep it on top? Oh yeah, wait. Good thing you reminded me. <laughs> oh crap! <I'll> keep one. <laughs> to the bottom it goes. No! <laughs> what did I? Uh, why did I open my mouth? 
God damn it, if this kills me, I'm going to be fuming. Yeah. 23, 33, 46. 38, 46 on the Honestly, it's 46 means that it'd be a 48, which is 35. Um, okay. We'll guard. Tire will fight here. Tire will come here. Swing for 35. Guard. Three. Complex. Okay. I'm hoping that he doesn't hit the over trigger. Well, not the over trigger. I'm just hoping he doesn't crit. Uh, we'll PG. Alright, first check. Okay. Oh, looking sad, boys, right now. Second check. Oh, such a low. Oh, oh, baby. Oh, baby. Okay, that's just GG. I'm <laughs> pretty honest, because I know what what my next cards is now. Oh, it's a draw and an OT. <laughs> 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 it be like that? Okay. Yeah. I guess I'll just take I'll just take the hit here then. Why not? Okay, oh. I guess I'll just damage check F it. You're swinging on a van, right? Do I need to you? Or do you have enough power blasts? You have to that you need. Mm. Uh we'll, we'll still swing on this guy. Oof. Just so I can counter charge. God damn it! Stop counter charging! We barely got a counter charger tonight for Luke EA, and it's not even coming up that often. Uh, okay. Stand and draw. Okay, whatever. You're going to soul anyway. In the soul you go. Counter blast one, move into soul. Call and. Oh. Okay. Uh, soul blast one to give Luke the skill. Okay. Boop. I'll use skill of the order. Let let's let's just go into the assumption that this order can in fact work that way. I'm going to give skill to Rising Dragon. Okay. Rising Dragon swings with its skill. It's going to get an extra 10k. So this is going to be for 25 on the van. See, even if they hit the over, that forces a draw, then drop the turns right back out. Uh, I would literally have to block every attack if I really wanted to. It, 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 can you block every attack? I, I know a card in your hand is Ebisu. Uh, <laughs> Once again, you're saying Ebisu. God damn it, why do I keep calling it Ebisu? <laughs> should be, uh, that should be the name of this uh, uh, fight night. It's not Ebisu. Uh, I'll accept my here. You'll Let's accept. see what was my first one. Oh, the shuffle really went that far. Wow. All right. Okay. GG. Okay. Well, that was a pretty good showing for Lukie all around. Uh, and also a pretty good showing for Neo Reverse, not Ebisu. Neo Reverse mode. Then that means this one's over. Yep. Yeah, that was the over. Okay. Yeah. Which over do you run Fun in this fact, one? this one had the crit. So, uh, this one did have the crit. I feared. Yeah. I feared. I hella feared. Oh, it, it could also retire all the opponent's rears, bruh. <laughs> I forgot that one did that one. Oh wow, that was a that was a pretty good game. You know, not, not gonna lie, but a lot of back and forth. Managed to show off the uh, basically most of the interactions that you have for Luke. There, there's a few different things that you can do with this deck and different ways you can take it. Uh, I've considered a few different ways to take it. Like for instance, Brainwash might not even be here for very long. I mean, the extra soul charge is nice, but it's not that necessary. Uh, Swirler and Panther is your flex spots, but clearly Cat is very important. Cat is pretty important. Now it might go for Zito depending on how things are. They they have different timings to their skills and like different requirements. Cat's more convenient on the timing. It doesn't need to get sucked up, so you can keep it out there every turn. So that's why I think Cat probably wins out. But if anything, you could potentially just take out Swirlers to put in Zitos as well and just make it 
that kind of way. Um, now, when you do that, because uh, when playing this deck, you want to go for the Breathing Dragon back in the soul every time, uh, more or less, because you just want to keep on being able to use that skill. But then you just put in a different grade there. Putting in two grade ones is a little bit weird because then it's more incumbent on you to maintain different grades in the soul. Because generally speaking, you probably want to put in this. And if possible for combos, you could probably put in like a Rising Dragon to protect your best attacker because it's it's not as bad as you know what people do to rocket Gur, but if they see the rising dragon they're pretty inclined to attack it i think you know it's it's a pretty obviously the big beater of this deck you know so they want to get rid of it uh so protect it put in a soul please yeah i mean at least with the cat you have a way to occur right right one, one thing i thought about since the deck's kind of peace reliant like you have to see the order and soul in order to get four attacks and i think that's super important um having the consistency of seeing the order in soul every single time i mean it doesn't have um, to be in soul well it doesn't have to be in soul it's either in soul or hand but like um you like you have to see this order and i think that's like super important um so i was thinking actually since we now have a counter charger i wasn't thinking about it before we had a counter charger but i was talking to naps about ultrasound siri in this deck ultrasound so. potentially i mean i uh, you you could go for that, I guess. Although generally speaking, when it comes to like your grade twos, you're kind of already stacked when it comes to what you want in the front row anyway, which is like Rising and Lillian. Yeah, those are the only two grade twos you play right now, right? I <laughs> uh, I th do I play another grade two? Let me check real quick. I think they're the only ones though. Uh, let me investigate deck just to be certain. Yeah, I think these are the only grade twos. Um, which which I think is fine ish. It makes sense, uh, especially since, thanks to Luke A's skill, you can consistently see access to, at bare minimum, Lillian uh, a lot. So that's pretty good. Uh, one thing I'm not doing is I'm only running the, uh, what should we call it, arena in right deck. I'm not playing in a main deck. You just don't need that soul charge. You you really don't. And if you if you ever want to see her, just call her from soul. Just honestly, uh, yeah, there. Uh, I may end up doing a profile on this, uh, just in in a bit, just cause. But I thought I might as well give a fight night there. So yeah, if there's a profile on the way, then look forward to that. I might make a post about it, just uh, if I make up my mind or not. Uh, but that said, thank you for watching, fellas. Take care. God bless.